Hi, I'm Martine LaDuke. Hi, I'm Amy De Palma. And we're here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve to show you life science at a social distance. Amy, you oversee the birds of prey here at Boyd Hill. What is a bird of prey? So a bird of prey is any bird that will eat a prey item or an animal. So that could be a pelican that eats a fish or a blue jay that eats worms. But what we have here at Boyd Hill is this special group of bird of prey that are called raptors. Now raptors are really, really neat because they are carnivores, so they only eat meat and they catch their food with their very sharp talons, so with their feet. Today what I'd like to do if we could is compare a red shoulder hawk and a red tail hawk and see what the differences are and how we could identify them. Okay, so this is Rusty, our red-shouldered hawk. And Amy, how did we get Rusty? So Rusty is here, he's about seven years old, and you'll see on his right side, um, he is missing his eye. So Rusty, with only one eye, especially a bird um, that has eyes on the side of their head, it's really difficult for them to see or judge the distance how far their prey item would be. How would I identify a red-shouldered hawk? I can see what he looks like, but compared to some other hawks that are around the area. Yeah, so red-shouldered hawks are the most common hawks that we have here in Florida, and they love forested areas near fresh water, so our wetlands, and that's what Florida has a lot of. So the next time you're walking through a swamp or a marsh, you keep an eye out for these guys. But the best way to tell them apart from any other raptor is that beautiful rusty red uh, color on its shoulder. But if you're far away and you can't see that rusty red shoulder, um, if you look at his plumage on the back of his wing and his tail, it's that black and white checkered pattern. And that is unique to the red-shouldered hawk. Now we're going to compare Dancer, the red tail hawk, to Rusty, the red-shouldered hawk. And I know he has the red tail. Are there any other markings that would tell me that it's a red tail hawk? Oh, absolutely. So typically you're going to be finding this bird more in open fields or upland habitats, um, not near the water. Um, but other than the red tail, you'll notice across his belly, he has darker feathers going across. Now that is called a belly band. Um, so that's a very common thing that you'll see for red-tailed hawks. Um, also, you'll notice the white feathers on his back. It kind of looks like he's wearing a backpack. Um, that's also a very uh, red-tailed hawk tree. Now, because red-tailed hawks are the most common hawks in all of North America, you can find them in almost every state. So because of that, their colors vary depending on what region you're in. So Dancer here is a southern red-tailed hawk, so that's why you'll see he's almost white in areas in his chest. If you go up more north, um, he can red-tailed hawks can be almost a dark brown. Uh, so they can look a little bit different depending on where you are in the United States. Okay. Thanks for watching. Learn more about our red-shouldered and our red-tailed hawks in our next episode. I'm Martine LaDuke at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. See you next time.